Um, I just heard something about finding your path. And then the Seven of Swords is here and I kept getting this feeling of like somebody tugging back and forth or like walking um, down one path and then kind of back down a different path and trying to find their path. So I don't know, maybe with the Seven of Swords here and the Five of Cups, this could be for somebody that it's almost like I feel this message, Spirit's actually saying that this message in itself here today is going to be a confirmation for somebody or just like an encouragement for somebody to find their path, whatever that's going to mean. So maybe finding a specific path or just kind of getting on track somehow. Um, maybe there's been some confusion recently or there's been something with this Queen of Wands here too. Uh, maybe some of you are trying to find that, but we'll see how that connects. But um, there was some feeling of that and the, the cards were kind of not shuffling too. And yeah, the star, the eight of wands. For somebody specific, you could be called to get back, uh, get back on track to something very specific that you maybe used to do, or this could be a part of yourself that somehow you lost touch with. And it's like it's taking the lead again. And we actually do have the card action at the bottom of this deck as well. So I feel like this message is going to be for somebody that needs, again, the push or the motivation or the encouragement to take action towards something. And it could be very specific for you. Um, I'm seeing somebody playing guitar, so that may be for somebody very specific. But if you've been feeling guided to take action towards something that you maybe have you know, put on the back burner or you've just, it could even be like a broad sense with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. Maybe there's just been like um, a lackluster or a feeling in your life of kind of writing with the, or just, I don't know, kind of moving with the, the back and forth motion of life and not maybe taking steps forward in the way that you could or that you feel drawn to. So this may be what Spirit's saying with this message is that this is for somebody who needs to find their path again um, or take action towards those, to, taking steps to kind of get out of that maybe back and forth feeling. But let's get the cards out and see. So Spirit, what would you like to say here? Tell us more with the cards. What is the message here today? what is the message okay we have the hanged man and we have the seven of pentacles so there's also a message coming up here that for someone this may not be for everybody but if you've been feeling any kind of resistance around this path that has been coming from outside or negative forces so maybe you've been feeling kind of like attacked in some sort of way or there's been some darker energies around you um, this feels like a message for somebody with the hanged man and the seven of pentacles that there has been kind of a necessary delay almost for you it feels like I'm, I'm getting something or I'm seeing a vision of somebody taking their belongings and putting it in like a suitcase or a backpack and I keep hearing spirits say move along or move forward so with this, the way this um, woman is striding as well, it just feels like maybe this is for some of you needing to like have the courage to overcome something that has been challenging or remove yourself from a situation, pack your belongings, if that's literal, maybe for somebody. Um, and something with this orange dress here too gives me a feeling of like the sacral chakra of creativity, action, something about it, like kind of taking action maybe towards your dreams. And I feel some of you here need this message that, um, you know, the, there's almost a balance between sitting back and kind of moving through changes and evaluating things and then also being able to take that action. There's like a balance here required between the two. And um, I'm seeing a thumbs up. So that could be a sign for somebody too. But I feel like that could be a thumbs up from, again, like your spirit team, your spirit guides. Um, a thumbs up to progress or to move forward but yeah see we have the four of swords and the eight of wands it's like a, a contradiction between the resting and the action and i'm hearing actually spirits say that you if this kind of aligns with you it's almost like you're on the the verge here of finalizing some sort of cleansing process which is going to enable you to finally take that action. 
So maybe again, it could be something specific, like you're waiting for the final um, news to come in or the job offer that can move you out of this certain location or spot here with the Eight of Wands. And I feel like you are becoming more prepared and ready to take that action or the glimpses of that are coming into focus to where you are, you know, again, almost like getting ready for that action if you haven't taken it yet. I'm here in uh, September for somebody, so that could be very specific. What else, Spirit, for this message, please? There's a ton of things coming up here. Now they're kind of branching into maybe something different or could all connect. For somebody here, again, this may not be for everybody, but there's a call here to evaluate your relationships or maybe a specific relationship around you. Um, and I feel like this is for somebody that is in this Queen of Cups energy to where you're very giving, you're very loving, but you also maybe have been giving yourself or giving your energy if it's not your actual like physical, you know, like if you're not in a relationship, there's something you've been giving yourself to which is like you're needing to expand now you're needing to really move out of that i'm hearing robotic for some reason maybe some of you have become kind of robotic um or you're dealing with somebody who is just like something is not suiting you anymore and i feel like with the two of swords and the two of wands here and the five of swords there is something here that requires you to um really expand at this time is the central message so this is for somebody that needs to know it's time to expand it's time to really begin to look at the truth almost is what's coming up or look at the environment around you and be very clear about what is you know again requiring action for you to really make those changes and for some of you this could even be that you've been kind of attached to some negative cycles which have been kind of a product of your own doing in a way there this may be self-sabotage and maybe refusing to see the truth of a situation it could be denial something which just requires you at this point to sort of like again like look at the truth and um this is definitely again a message for somebody specific to at least one part of it that if you have been on the fence right now about ending something and especially if it requires you moving into a completely different location maybe or different like just ending a long-standing situation this is your confirmation to do it i'm hearing because and if I'm, I'm also hearing if you have not made that decision there may be something which will come up soon which is going to give you the truth that you need it could be that you will see something hear something receive something and it's going to kind of like maybe hurt a little bit but it's going to give you the truth that you need to to finally progress and to finally move forward um and i just think that it's like this is a message too with the hermit that there's so much more waiting for you in life there's so much more that you could do you also could be needing to set your sights a bit higher in terms of what you're capable of at this point that can manifest so differently for everybody it could be like maybe a project you're working on it could be a certain job that you're settling in or settling for a relationship you're settling for a way of thinking and somebody's guides here really want to say that it's kind of like you're taking the blinders off or you need to take the blinders off to begin to see the truth of your situation and just knowing how much more that you deserve and how much more again you're capable of and again i'm getting a lot of different scenarios here so take what's going to fit with you for somebody as well, I'm being shown someone kind of scraping by. It could be financially um, and same kind of message here with that. You know, maybe you're scraping by, but there's actually more you could do if you were to maybe apply yourself or to... I don't know. Let me get a few more cards here. Just there's something with this death card, some kind of necessary ending or transformation. Let's see, Spirit, what else would you like to say here for this message, please? I'm hearing the cycle is complete. And they're actually showing me a, a, a cycle in a washing machine. And it's interesting because, you know, the Queen of Cups being like the water element and the washer machine. Um, it's almost like the cycle is complete, 
So we're already washed, like everything is already washed and cleansed. So we're not going to like do it all over again. We're not going to put the soap, uh, the detergent back in and re-wash the clothes. And so it's kind of like a metaphor for there's some kind of cycle that is overdue, like it's already complete. Maybe it's been sitting there for a while. Maybe it's already like, the you know, it's already complete. The timer already went off and it's just kind of at this point sitting there for no reason kind of where it's already ready for takeoff or it's already ready for it to be used now and so i'm hearing something about aries season okay for some reason i don't know if maybe we just passed aries season so maybe something specific happened for some of you in aries season or that could resonate with what i was mentioning with this queen of cups here but yeah there's definitely a feeling that a lot of you have become much more aware of yourself and what you need and this is what i'm hearing is it's it's a at times can be a painful thing to feel but it also gives us the freedom to make those changes that we need to make so it may be with the queen of cups that you have become more sensitive here to The things that you need and being more aware of maybe what you, you don't have or where your needs are not being met in those situations what else spirit would you like to say and i keep it in this feeling of like if only one step were to be taken right now like so maybe that's something again specific like if it's about career for example um if you could only just take the one step like the, the baby step maybe it would open up already much more for you so maybe it's about taking that initial step you know is what's coming through we have flying here at the bottom and we have solitude what else spirit yeah they're showing me somebody sitting and trying to yeah hit the desert i was just getting um a feeling of somebody trying to light a fire like kind of in the desert or if there's nothing else around like a secluded island and you're trying to use the candle and light the fire or get to get something to spark but it's like you're not getting it able you're not able to get it to spark or you're seeking what that is how can I make this spark in my life what can I do and again that can be so many things um, but definitely with this dry desert here this feels kind of like a lot of you are at this current point if this reading aligns with you to where you may feel kind of like this dry desert you may feel in a cycle to where you're having peaks of happiness or joy maybe you're having peaks or glimpses of inspiration of the things that you want to do maybe you're having those um inspiring thoughts that you want to you know again expand yourself or to leave something behind and it's coming from somewhere within you with the queen of cups here it's coming from some kind of creative spark or somewhere that yearns for more in life yearns for more experiences for more joy for more um, creativity and so they're asking here for you to use this time here with the dry desert to figure out how you can make that fire so to speak how can you what is it that would bring about that spark? You know, it's almost like, again, if you picture trying to create a fire, um, how to describe it? Like, what would be the middle piece that you could put in that would actually, like, be the kindle for it? But in this case, like, what would light your fire up? Like, would it be a certain path? Would it be a certain location? Would it be a certain ending of something and then you're kind of putting it into the fire or into the kindle so that i can use that to spark i hope that makes sense there's just something like that to where i think that a lot of you here are in a process where there's again that balance between solitude and action a balance between being in the dry desert and then feeling the peaks of joy and taking action towards things so definitely feels like kind of a reevaluation moment you may even be encountering that at the moment or coming in in the future. There may be something to where you're going to feel that you need to take maybe a few days or a few weeks or even longer um, to maybe 
think of your next steps and what that's going to entail. I'm hearing only you know. So only you know the truth. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying before for a few of you. If this is about also maybe a relationship or the people around you, they want somebody to only honor your truth, not what anybody else says or what, you know, on, on both ends of it. If people are swaying your own intuition in any kind of way, you're the only one that knows best for you. So they really are encouraging somebody here to... Um, Listen to what you feel and listen to what you know within the Queen of Cups within yourself and, and nothing or nobody else. And then taking those steps so that you can fly. I just feel like Spirit wants somebody to know that it's your time to be happy. And we do have this card at the bottom when I was shuffling. Sea Otter, happiness. And it says here too, um, release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go. And instead, choose love, surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. And see with the water too, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it feels like this is definitely like an emotional um, feeling here to where a lot of the, these truths and a lot of these understandings are coming from the emotional realm for whoever this is. And that's kind of where there's a that feeling of like sometimes we do need to go all the way into our heart to ask ourselves what is it that we need now you know again do we just take a little bit of time away from something to gain a perspective from like a relationship or a situation or do we need to completely change paths and completely change directions and Some of you I'm hearing, you may be not yet fully in this energy. It might be something a little bit later to where maybe you're beginning again to just feel kind of antsy almost in a way. Or maybe you're starting to feel like there is, with these two figures up in the air, like parts of you are beginning to fly up and other parts of you are still understanding what that means and how you can integrate those things that you desire into your reality now with the hanged man here. So the hanged man traditionally does talk about like taking a different perspective, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, and they're showing me like something with bulging eyes, like bulging eyeballs. So I feel like they could be talking about somebody's third eye as well, or just like your vision in terms of what you see, your vision for the future maybe as well. Um, something about looking around. I was hearing that earlier too. Like somebody here needs to look around, whatever that's going to mean for you. I don't know. Look around at your environment, look around at the people, take a really good look at this and not just looking at it maybe or, or putting it, um, you know, to the side. They want you here to really see something for what it is and not only, because I feel like there's many angles to this, interestingly enough, it's like there's many angles to this, um, these eyeballs kind of feeling, you know, on one end of the spectrum, you're having to look at the truth maybe of the situations around you, the people and then you're also taking these eyeballs and you're looking at the vision of your future. You're looking at yourself. You're looking at where you want to be. So just, yeah, it feels like almost like a bird would scan the environment um, and take note of everything. Like take note of where is the best kind of location for me for this or where is there a predator? Um, something like that of just needing to scan and scope out kind of the environment if that makes sense, in internally and also externally. So I'm hearing the song Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. So let me think of the lyrics of that. Yeah, it's not something I've been afraid of change or I'm afraid of changes. Yeah, so I do think that some of you here and with the desert too, something like how the sand would, on a hill, it would just all fall down and kind of, it would fall, it would slide down. So I just feel like this could even be this feeling again, settling in of what needs to kind of go and what's here to stay and what's next. What else, Spirit, for this message here today, please? 
yeah, I was just going to say the tower. I'm surprised the tower is not here. The tower, we have the magician and the ace of swords. Yeah, so a lot of this is similar to what I've already said. Um, I definitely think that they keep wanting to say something really strong here about seeing. I keep wanting to mention, um, or they keep wanting to mention here with the owl, like something to where they want you to really use your vision, use your mind to observe, to maybe even evaluate, analyze, um, intuitive hits, intuitive things that you seem to really know right now. Something with that owl to where maybe you're receiving a lot of information spiritually, intuitively, or as you're accessing this Queen of Cups part of you, there's more truth coming to the surface and it feels like this is giving way to, like I was saying, you know, not just observations of things that need to change, but also observations of how broad your life could become, like how many things you could manifest or what is possible when you're in the dry desert. There's nothing else around her. So when you have nothing else around you, your vision becomes clearer because you can now begin to see more clearly who you are and your surroundings because it's not so congested and clouded with other people or past situations or just things that are standing in the way which is why that came up earlier to think about what is no longer kind of on a steady foundation for you from small things to big things in your life and Yeah. I'm hearing heavy heart. For somebody specific, you may have to, yeah, you may have to end something. The lovers, the eight of cups, the king of wands. You may have to end something and it's, it's kind of coming with a heavy heart because it seems like there's such a polarity to this reading. Like, like I said before, with the action versus the pause. And some of you may feel this way, or if you don't feel this way now, this could be coming in in the next month or so, where one part of you feels happy and peaks of joy about this. So let's say, for example, that you did walk away from a relationship. One part of you may start to feel that it was the right choice and there is so much more out there for me. And you may begin to feel happier because you have more freedom or more you're more in touch with yourself again. And then the other half of you or the other part of you may start to just feel sad about this and that there's a heavy heart. Maybe you've had to, maybe somebody else has heard about this or you've had to hurt somebody in the process. So I just feel like this is really kind of a, a sense of, and here's this woman walking in the desert again. But it's really a sense that it's funny because we already went through the eclipse, but they're drawing me to the eclipse here because it even could be something where the energy has kind of settled down now to the point where the actions can be taken now from that energy. So there may have even been, I think I did here too, airy season. So there may have uh, been something in with the eclipses that we had that may have been very significant and impactful for you. And even if you can't like fully identify what that was, the outcome of it is now bringing up this fire. See the sparking of the flame. It's bringing up the opportunity to now spark and, f and bring to life what was crumbled at that point or what truths were were revealed at that point if that makes sense so it's really like a clean slate feeling but in this case it's all about the magic what can you spark again like who are you what can you spark what would spark you up what direction what path and usually because it kind of feels like somebody's life could be starting over in a way. Like maybe you're having a complete do-over of your of your life in a way. Or you've just reached a certain chapter where you are making a very big change. Maybe some of you are making one of the biggest changes that you've ever made or something in your life. That could be for some of you. And it just feels like... I think this is crooked here. Um... 
yeah, it just feels like it's a, I keep it in that feeling of tugging back and forth between like sadness and joy, sadness and joy. So that could be how you feel. Sometimes you feel sad or sometimes you feel that maybe choices were made that were maybe not the right choices for you. But I think that's just coming from like the fear and your ego wanting to still attach yourself to things that don't serve you just for comfort. Because see how this person's dangling something? Like it kind of brings to mind like somebody dangling a carrot and you can't really have it, but it's a false temptation because maybe it's a relationship or it's a person or it's a certain that just flew out but it could be um something like that to where it's tempting it's tantalizing it has its benefits but then it also has maybe more cons than pros or something um same thing with the job we do have career transition so for some of you this could be a career transition this big change for you I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are maybe beginning to think about could be starting your own business or it could be you're moving from one career to something that is more creative or something which would give you more freedom to express yourself and to yeah be yourself and that's where they want somebody to really just trust in what you feel even if your partner or friends or co-workers don't agree or don't understand they really want you here to remember with the magician how much our mind is capable of achieving you know like it's just about setting the intention and watching that fire with the king of wands and it's it's like taking you know, the King of Wands is very action-oriented. The King of Wands is very much of this powerful leader figure. And so I feel like that's what a lot of you are being guided to step into. Even if you're not, like, opening a business or something, it's still just like, where can you fill, I'm hearing, where can you fill the gaps? We have clear cognizance. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Yeah, I was getting that with the owl. I do think that a lot of you, there's, this feels like actually this reading in itself, I feel like I just mentioned this before, but this reading in itself could serve as like a confirmation or a sign for somebody. Like maybe you just needed one more confirmation for this, or you needed one more um, answer to make that big step. And I just feel like this reading could be it, because if it aligns with you, because with this here, it's, there's something that has been most likely already building up within you for a while. And it's like, maybe you have have pushed it to the side or you've felt that maybe it was only a dream. And it doesn't even have to be something specific for everybody, like a career transition. It could just be in general, like day to day, what do you feel guided to do? How can you bring more spark and happiness to your day to day routines? Or how can you disconnect from and dismantle with the tower where you've neglected your intuition? You know, like you know when something feels good and when something feels off, when something feels joyful and high vibrational and when something is more of this maybe lower temptation or just agitation of the self or of the ego and i feel like you're becoming much more aware of those two things to distinguish them and so that could be too just in general just pay attention to just popping up in your mind about anything um, that you have throughout the day because i feel like it is giving you it, you're, it's, it's like your higher self is giving you inspiration so that you can create a more magical life and a more free life and down the road if not now will be giving you the opportunity to really ask yourself how you can again you know follow
your creative intentions. We have the leadership. Yeah. So it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So was it this reading I was talking about the orange dress? I don't remember if it was this reading or if I'm confusing it with something I just thought of, but I, there was something I came up about a, a figure in this deck um, wearing an orange dress and I was referring it to be like the sacral chakra. So yeah, it's come up twice now if that's the case to where there's a lot of energy around the sacral chakra and I'm just getting a lot of you, for somebody very specific, you may have been feeling very void in that area for a very long time. So maybe you have been feeling just completely non kind of creative or you haven't been feeling any kind of passion for life or even for a person. And it's like maybe it's been a very long time just for somebody like years. Um, and I feel like this is the moment where maybe there's a call for you to get that spark back to begin to feel lively again and to bring a passion and a fire in everything that you do from re relationships to career um, and to just your own well-being and happiness. And that could be where it can kind of feel uncomfortable if that's for you because you may still feel mixed in between the two and your ego could be doubting it, but there is victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. And yeah, with this victory card, again, this may be specific, but I'm just getting something here about you receiving what seems to be something through like a computer or a text message that may be very specific. I don't know if it's some kind of acceptance or like acceptance letter or email, but there's something that I feel is going to be coming in in the form of an actual tangible victory that will give you that change that you've been needing with that dry desert. So maybe you've put something out there or you have it's just maybe like not a coincidence really but i mean in, in a way it's like a coincidence because you have somehow already desired this or set this intention and then you receive the the the, the opportunity which is going to be that big change for you that you've been looking for and that's going to kind of be that kindle on top of the you know to make the fire so it could be something will come in like that, which is going to serve as that Kindle, if that makes sense. Like it's that opportunity which will begin to fuel you again. It's that feeling of, you know, again, not having like a spark for life or not having a spark for the, for the work that you do or maybe not having a spark in a relationship too. Um, it feels like something is going to come in which will bring that spark to life and it's a combination of your own doing with the magician your own like intentions here and also some kind of divine intervention i feel with the tower some of you could have been having trouble sleeping recently and because I'm, I'm hearing losing sleep so if, especially for somebody if this has been like a very difficult change or transition even if you haven't had this victory yet, like maybe you've been feeling really uneasy because you, again, are like in this place of maybe changing with yourself, or maybe you did have to end something and it's kind of like you're in between. Maybe you don't have a job right now or something. Um, and it feels like you've been losing sleep maybe about this. And I just feel like I'm, I'm seeing a vision here of, this is very specific, but I'm seeing a vision of somebody sitting in a chair while you're sleeping. This is a, a an angel or possibly like a passed on loved one. And this is not like in a creepy way of them like watching you, but it is some some someone who's guiding you. That could be a sign for one person out there. Like if you wondered if you feel the presence of like a passed on loved one in your in your room, especially if you have a chair somewhere in your bedroom in the corner. Um they are definitely guiding you but if it's not like a passed on loved one it definitely could just be an angel that is always with you and you know it's just like comforting you maybe when you do have insomnia maybe some of you have prayed at that moment 
and there has been this angel over over in that area you know but even if you don't have a chair in your room still um there's still an angel there so yeah that's definitely for somebody that you're very guided at this point but not just guided you're very comforted um in this difficult change it feels like or at least a uneasy feeling as to like am i making the right choice or do i have what it takes or some kind of fear So we have pay attention to your health and promptly address any concerns. So what I was getting with that Queen of Cups up there, um, just take this how this will resonate, of course, you know, whatever this is going to mean for you personally. I'm not saying that there's any health issues, but there's something here about maybe mental health for some of you, though. Um, with the Queen of Cups, it feels like this is a combination of kind of what just lowers your vibration and what is causing you distress like what is maybe contributing to the insomnia if that's the case or what is what is making you feel tense throughout the day or even having body aches or some other kind of physical um, symptoms it feels like spirit wants to say here with that angel reference as well that they're really trying to guide you out of a difficult time for those of you who are going through health issues um this may be and again, I don't, I'm not a doctor and I don't know what the exact thing is, but this may be something that has been a result of like some lack of spark in your life though. Maybe it's been creating this stagnation around your energy and causing physical illness or causing you to feel just not good in any kind of way. So that's kind of where this dry desert comes in where you know, there's this opportunity or this call to figure out how to bring that fire to life. And when you put the fire kind of through your body in a way of like this activation, which can cleanse you and like move the energy around a little bit, this will help you to clear any of those health issues or to at least bring about comfort during that. Because I mean, that's what I personally believe. Like, you know, it's, we're all connected to, or we are, our body is connected to what we think and what we feel, our physical body. So if we're feeling a certain way mentally, it is going to eventually take a toll on our physical body. And so there may be just this stagnant kind of old energy, or maybe some of you have been in a very unhealthy relationship or just a stifling job or stressful job or something. And it's like, I feel spirit saying that again, you know, um, whatever you need to do here to ask yourself why you're staying involved in something at this point, which is just no longer working um, or is physically causing you to feel sick, okay? You may be faced with an energy of upheaval. Understand that this is necessary in order to bring about a needed change in your life it may feel undesirable, but you will soon see the bigger picture. Yeah, so that's already summarized here. And I can definitely see that here with the health issue. Again, not for all of you, but for someone, especially if you have been going through a very undesirable change. It's something which is very sad or it's very difficult or it's very painful even for you. And you may feel like, you know, you're kind of alone in this hot desert and it's dry, you're thirsty, it's like not somewhere that feels pleasant to be in when we don't have any shelter. But I keep getting that feeling of that angel of like, it's for your own good. It's almost like a parent would say to a child or like a teenager that doesn't want to maybe end something or doesn't want to stop taking drugs for example something like that and it's like but it's for your highest good we're trying to help you even though you may not be able to see it you may see it as like a punishment or you may see it depending on your situation but it's actually trying to bring you closer to happiness ultimately just you're taking the back road to it you know, I keep it, and I keep in that message for somebody that maybe you have avoided something though for a very long time. And so spirit's just having to do this some way or another. 
because maybe you've been too stubborn to make these changes or maybe you've neglected something for so long that now it's going to kind of come in maybe in a bit of a painful way because you didn't listen to your intuition. Be open to the twists and turns and possibilities that are in store for you. The more that you resist these changes, the more challenging that they will feel. True colors of someone that you are close to will soon be exposed. This may leave you feeling deceived, but having this revelation will prove to be useful in the long run. Wow, yeah, somebody here could have an illness. Okay, so that's very specific. But if you already know this and you're already going through this um, and you've already been diagnosed and all of that, then this could be that, you know, there is, this is for your highest good. Whatever this change is, somehow it's going to help you to heal or somehow it's going to help you to get, you know, again, life or happiness back that you were missing. And it may have even been connected to this person here or to somebody, people and situations. It connects very well with what came up earlier. A lot of this came up with the Five of Swords and everything. With the Queen of Cups being very sensitive, a lot of you watching, if this is for you, you're very sensitive um, to energy. And so you, even more than others who are maybe not as sensitive as you, your physical body will be affected much more easily. You're much more susceptible to negative energy um, because of how sensitive but also on the more positive side of it how spiritually kind of gifted you are or spiritually um connected to spirit that you are but it can cause you to like take on and absorb all of these vibrations and energies which have been accumulated to a point of that stagnation and may have been coming from these other people or like um just something which has been not allowing you honestly to reach your full potential your fullest potential and that's why spirits wanting to bring you this change because they want you to reach your fullest potential and they want you to be happy many unexpected surprises will present for you this year that will bring about many new blessings peace harmony and balance that has been lacking in your life will soon be, re be restored. Yeah, you may be feeling a heavy energy and anxiety created by subconscious fears within upcoming energy. Be mindful of your thoughts or you will soon manifest these worries into reality. So yeah, this message is not going to be for everybody. So if this, at this point, you probably still be here if it's for you. But if you are not going through a heavy time, even if it's just like a temporary thing and you've been doing well. But for most of you, this is probably like an ongoing heaviness that you've been experiencing. Some of you, this may be upcoming though, because it does say here upcoming too. So just know that like, if this is for you, you've been maybe anticipating something heavy or you've been worried about something heavy manifesting or you've just been feeling anxious mentally, emotionally, and what seems to be physically too for some of you. And um, this is just such a strong call to say, again, that you will have more peace and harmony restored. And there is going to be a twist and turn, though, and it's going to be very unexpected, some of it. Um, but it's going to also bring about what's for your highest good. This year will provide big changes for, changes for you. You will undergo a transformative period through all, all, all aspects of your life. Within this year, helpful people will be sent into your life to help support you through these changes. So that is also going together with me to that vision of the angel in the chair. And it's kind of a metaphor for, yes, there is that angel there as well. And this is helpful souls or helpful spirits. But it's also new people that are entering your life that are going to be helping you to find the spark again. Some of you could be a romantic connection, a friendship that will turn into romance. And maybe that's you being in that dry desert and feeling that to 
have love again or to fall in love again is something that is difficult for you to accept but I do think that there's just a sense of from anything from like your neighbor to the doctor or to you know anybody it's like I just feel a like spirit's trying to send you as much support as possible through all of this okay I just shuffle these and these were at the bottom we have, even though we have persistence here, even though there have been many new changes in your life recently, you may have to become more persistent to get what you want. With persistence and good advice, you will achieve. Do not give up. And then we have truth. Demanding or confessing the truth may force you to face a situation that you are not ready to deal with at this time. It could be painful. Seek guidance. Or by telling the truth, you can now start to heal. So yeah, just confirming more of the same here, I feel. So I know this has been a bit more of a heavy reading. I'm just going to pull a final card and then I'm going to pull a few charms. And I feel guided for this reading to do an extended, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to be using the scrying ball here to just pick up on any further information with the scrying reading. I just feel like for some reason that's fitting here to just get more information about like what it is that you need to see, which is hidden here at this point. So if you've seen my scrying readings before, I just use that black obsidian scrying ball and I just see... You know visions I hear things and just whatever is going to bring guidance and maybe predictions for what's to come so we'll do that probably like a 20 minute scrying reading and I might pull you know maybe like one or two additional oracle cards as, as advice but it's mainly going to be a scrying reading so yeah if you're interested we'll do that in the extended and I will have the link to that below in the description box but let's go ahead and pull a final card from the animal deck and then I'll pull a few charms. Okay, is there anything else, Spirit, that you want to say to close up this reading that the viewers need to know? I keep hearing, don't give up. Um, and again, sometimes this happens when I'm closing up a reading and Spirit will come in to want me to channel something that I they want to get in in the nick of time kind of they want someone to definitely know to not give up that's like if you could take anything from this reading they don't want you to give up okay so whatever that is whatever you're doing whatever this means if it's an illness if it's all kinds of areas here I feel they just don't want somebody to give up even if you have to face this difficult truth there are two wolves here so this could be you know with another person again for some of you Maybe this is you feeling just very disappointed about this connection or this person. Could be so many things, but definitely they want to say that if you persevere, you will be here with this magician. You will be somewhere different in, I kind of wanted to say like a year's time, because we had those cards I kept saying about this year, but it may not be that in timing, but there's definitely a feeling that in time, if you keep going, you will be where you want to be. But if you give up and you surrender and you cave, um, it's going to be a longer time. It's going to be harder. So there is peace trying to reach you. And remember to speak with your angels as well, especially for those of you having trouble sleeping. Um, you can pray for their comfort and their healing and they will show up right away. Okay, so we have the wolf. Interesting. I haven't used these cards in forever, these wolf cards. So definitely for some of you, um, the wolf is coming up strongly here. We have the wolf pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others to find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So see how many synchronicities are in this reading. This reading feels like definitely a motivational kind of reading. It feels like something someone just really needs to hear. 
I don't know if this is going to find you at like a certain, again, like nick of time is what keeps coming to me for some reason. So maybe it's going to be like you were about to give up on something, but you need to hear this. Um, and again, I get confused when I'm channeling. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning about finding your path. I think something came up about that helping you to find your path. So this reading feels like it's all about someone needing to align to their true path. And you may have followed a false path. I, I have these little affirmations that pop up on my, um, on my phone. Don't remember the, the app name, but one just popped up. They're not my own, but they're like a, a computer generated ones. And it said something like, my energy is too precious to waste on stress, anxiety, and something else, overthinking. So that's interesting. That came up just now, too. Definitely feel like someone needs to know that. And we have Penguin, authentic. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. So it almost feels like a very emotional feeling too. It feels very bittersweet, I guess, is the emotion. Bittersweet, emotional, and healing for you to find your true, pe true people and find your true self with the Queen of Cups. Being the sensitive, emotional, and empathic creature that you are while also giving yourself the time to be strong and take that action. Okay, so let's pull a few of these charms. So we have this big key here. So it's actually straddling the path and the truth. So this is the key here is in the truth. The key is in seeing the truth, maybe having a truthful conversation for those of you who resonate with that. We'll see what more comes up in the scrying reading. Um, we have the snake. So yeah, definitely shutting the old skin. This is a very, it's like a healer's, um, looking thing to me too some of you could be healers and this is you healing obviously in this reading as well needing to really shed those old layers and regenerate yourself again with new skin we have this tree here so i feel like some of you this could also be your ancestors coming up something here with creating your legacy your pack finding your family finding your soul tribe um enduring like a tree you know so ancient and old and having the the perseverance and the longevity with the wolf here i have these little yogi tea things i put in when fear is forcing you to give up call upon your heart's courage to continue wow yeah i can't believe how many messages are in this reading about this courage and perseverance we have this dice number four okay so number four could mean something for you when it comes to your health Take that how that's going to resonate with you. Four can also be very restrictive. It can be very boxed in, like the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Emperor. So there's maybe this need to expand from the Four, you know, and to bring more variation sort of or change. Number five would be a, a number of change. So we've had the word change a million times too in this reading. So there's a lot of things about changing from the Four, the restrictive energy. Some of you could be in like a um, personal year number four or something like that. We also have this, the star. Yeah, so I, I just heard something like, please don't, I don't know what, I couldn't catch it, but please don't worry or please don't something. With this, you may be faced with the heavy energy. So definitely the star is all about healing. The star is about looking up, healing, having hope. So it's all about hope too. So with this penguin, we have this arrow here. 
So this gives me a feeling of like finding, maybe again, your person, finding your pack, your tribe, it says here. So maybe you're looking forward to that. You are encouraged to kind of shoot that arrow forward to find those people. We have the star. So this is maybe some of you also finding these people as you expand yourself. Um, yeah, we have this skull. This is giving me a feeling of there are endings maybe for some of you in terms of connections. Um, this is about ending the things that do not allow you to be yourself. It says break free from others' expectations. So where can you do that? Where can you end those connections and be yourself? We also have this little koala bear. So I don't really know what that means. I'll, I'll leave that up to your interpretation. Um, I don't know the meaning of a koala bear. And then we have here the seven of swords. So yeah, again, this is something is not allowing you to be authentic. It's maybe in the background kind of, it's something that needs to go. So with this illness, we have the tree again, and here it has money on it, a money tree. So this could be that, again, you know, tree can represent health. Maybe some of you, I don't take that how it's gonna resonate, maybe you need money for this healing. Maybe you're going to be coming into more financial health as well, which can help your illness or can just be something of more abundance in general. Just as a very positive omen though to come on top of this card here whatever it's going to mean for you. And then we have this sun and the moon. So it could be like a balance between the shadow and the light, the masculine, feminine. Honor the balance, honor that within yourself. And then we have this little thing here. I don't really know what this means, but use your intuition with it. Kind of looks like an evil eye in a way. So it could also be like protection too. And then we have here this little um, forest. And then we have the fool on top of this friendly connection into romance. So yeah, some of you, this is maybe a new beginning that definitely will be, seems like if this reading is for you though, you're probably coming out of something or you've just been single for a while and you're ready to start a new journey. And this is going to be maybe somewhere in, you know, maybe some of you are moving somewhere with nature here or in the forest, or it's just going to be like an unknown path, like an unknown kind of fool's journey where there will be a possibility for a friendship to turn into a romantic connection in the future. I just saw 1122 and they wanted me to point that out. But I will leave it here for you. I hope this reading was helpful. I really hope this could find whoever it's for because it feels like someone definitely needs to hear this. And I will go now to the scrying reading below in the description box if you want to join over there. Um, we usually get a lot of details and a lot of guidance. So we'll do that. And I wish you all the best. I hope that this was helpful. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And um, I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.